Hello everyone, this is Mondan Raghavan. In previous video, we have seen how the simple chain looks like. And today we are going to see one more type, which is simple sequential chain. Just to recap about the simple chain, a chain is the object where it will expect LLM and prompt template to be inserted. Once we have the chain, we will run the chain by using the inputs which are required by the prompt template. Very simple way we have understood what a simple chain it is. Now let's move to the next one, simple sequential chain. The same way how we create the chain object by providing the LLM and prompt template, we will be creating the chain. But in simple sequential chain, we will be creating multiple chains. Obviously, each chain can have a different LLM and different prompt template differently. Once we create the multiple chain, as you see in your screen on your left hand side, we will be giving these chains to the simple sequential chain. Which means once you have created the simple sequential chain by having multiple chains, you will be start running the total simple sequential chain by providing the inputs of the first chain because the execution starts from the first chain. Obviously, the chain one will have the prompt template. For that, we will be giving the inputs by running the method. Now, once the chain one completes, the output of the chain one will be the input of the chain two. Again, chain two output will be the chain three input. Then finally, chain three output will be our final response. Here, chain one and chain two and chain three, it's just for example, Either you can have two chains, three chains, or four chains, as much as you want for the requirement. Now we are clear that we will be creating the multiple chains. We will be giving to the simple sequential chain. We will start running the simple sequential chain by running the inputs for the first chain. Let's go to the coding part. The first three lines are very simple. The first one, prompt template that we need to create for each chain. GPT for all to load the our LLM. And LLM chain, obviously, we will be creating this chain. Then we will be giving these chains to the simple sequential chain. For that, we have the import statements. Line number five and six. Line number five and six will load the local LLM. In our case, we have the Falcon. And this will be loaded by using the GPT for all model. After that, we are creating the prompt template, the first one, which will be giving the some explanation in three sentences. The explanation will be based on the input variable that you send it. This can be called as a parachain because we are going to create a paragraph with three sentences. Here, the first LLM chain will be having the LLM Falcon and prompt template, where you will be having explain input in three sentences. Now we have chain number one. Now going back to the chain number two. For chain number two, first we are creating the prompt template, which is give an interesting title with three word sentences. These sentences will be getting from the first chain. However, so far we have not made the link between the chain one and chain two. Once we get the sentences, that will be creating the title in three words, which means the first chain is responsible to produce the a content with three sentences for the given topic, whereas second chain will be getting the content from the first chain and it will generate the title in three words. Even here, we are creating the prompt template, but we are going to use the same LLM. We are not going to use a different LLM for the second chain, but still it is allowed to use the different LLM also. Now we are creating the second chain called title chain, which uses the same LLM Falcon, but the prompt template will be different. Now, finally, we are creating the simple sequential chain, which is expecting the chains. And in this list, we are giving the para chain and title chain. Because in this example, we have two chains and we make it verbose as true. Now the execution starts. SQL simple sequential chain will take the chains list. Parachain will be executed with its own LLM and the prompt template mentioned. Then title chain will be getting the input from the parachain. But what would be the input for the parachain? Yes, when you run the final chain, which is the simple sequential chain, we are providing run method with metaverse. So metaverse will be given to the simple sequential chain. This input will be given to the parachain. Parachain will generate the three sentences. These three sentences will be the input for the title chain, which in turn title chain generates three word title as the name suggests. Now the final output will be executed and it will be shown in the console. Let's execute and see the output.
After a few seconds, you will be getting the output. The output will be very visible because we mentioned verbose as true. It is giving the explanation about the metaverse in three sentences. And based on the content, it is generating the title for that, which is metaversing the world, exploring the digital frontier. So this is the example to understand the simple sequential chain in a simple way. Just to recap, we will be creating the different chains, maybe with the different LLMs and prompt templates altogether different. Then we will be creating the simple sequential chain object by providing the three different chains in this case. For example, it can be any chains. Basically, you will be giving the list of chains. This simple sequential chain object will be run by using the run method, providing the input for the first chain to, that you mentioned in the list. Then obviously the remaining part will be taking the input from the previous chain. And final chain will be giving the response to you. So this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.